Every time I ask, people tell me, Nigeria became independent in 1960. And furthermore, to show she was truly free, she became a republic in 63. Meaning the queen was no longer head of state. Meaning that we were now masters of our fate. Meaning that power over Nigerians could now only be held by a Nigerian. It was why we sang and danced in the night. Why we lit fires that burned through the night. Why we chose a flag colored in freedom, for now we would be kings in this our kingdom. <laughs> but our first head of state was Igbo. And the next, though a soldier, also Igbo. Then Angas ruled, followed by Alsa, and then came the turn of Yoruba. Then Alsa came back for a term cut short. When power was taken by an Alsa gone short, then Gwari claimed his turn to rule, but a mandate stolen was his downfall. Then Kanuri came, and it's quite probable that he'll still be ruling, if not for that apple. Then Yoruba returned, not once, but twice. Then Alsa returned, but died in peace. Then it left us a while to worry and wonder. When it was over, Ijo had power, and after him came that titanic shift. And now we can see that Alsa is back, leaving me with this troublesome thought. Where in all this is my own president? For where I was born is not where I'm from, and where I'm from is not my home. So when the tribes gather, I often wonder, who will I fight when you're both my brothers? Nobody asked when we were children. Before we play, are you a Muslim? We shared a space that nobody claimed, but now you ask me to choose a side. When we were students, nobody asked if North and South could share a desk, if East and West could study together, but now you tell me that I'm a stranger. Stranger, yes, to these ways of thinking. Thinking that tribe is everything. The Niger and Benue, they meet in my hand. I'm not an indigent. But this is my land. And this is my and this is my language. I speak nothing else. My home is here. I know nothing else. My tribe is my nation. I am nothing else. And this is my country. I have nowhere else. And so though people are quick to assure me, to tell me this country I live in is free, deep in my heart, I know that freedom, my freedom, is yet to come. When no one will question my origin, when no one will call me a non-indigen, when no one will kill me because of my faith, when no one will cheat me because of my state, when my state will be wherever I live and will change whenever I choose to move, the day I find not a Nigerian president, but that a Nigerian is finally president. And so, while the flag of ethnicity still flutters, over this land of two shining rivers, and the tribes take their turn to misgovern my country, I look to the future, for I'm not yet free. <laughs>